High profile workplaces like newsrooms in Hollywood are in the spotlight right now. Julia Fellow spoke to a Milwaukee lawyer who deals with discrimination lawsuits to share how it happens everywhere, Julia. Lawyer Peter Fox described how even the way an accuser is questioned in court has changed. A decade or so ago, a victim would be asked how they wore their hair or if they had perfume on the day they were harassed. That would never happen today, he says. He believes the latest slew of allegations started with Harvey Weinstein and most recently Matt Lauer's moving the pendulum even further in favor of believing a worker who says they've been sexually harassed. He says documentation is key in moving these cases forward. Wisconsin law uses uses broad terms of what sexual harassment is, which is unwelcome, hostile comments or behavior of a sexual nature. He gave us an example of how the times have changed. You look beautiful today. Back, you know, 20 years ago, that's, so what, right? That's what everyone's going to say. So what, someone said that. That's a compliment. Um, but now it, 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 they've interpreted what is, you know, what's a, what is the reasonable person standard? Would a reasonable person consider that to be harassment under the circumstances. We've seen some victims come forward after remaining silent for years. If you want to have a legitimate claim, you have to come forward within 300 days of when it happened. If you want a civil suit, if it's your direct supervisor, you can go directly to the Equal Employment Opportunities Commission or the Equal Rights Division. If it's simply just a coworker, you must document it with your company that you work for first. There's a lot more advice a women's advocacy group suggests to support your claims. Find out more on Live at Five. Back to you. All right, Julia, thank you. And we're going to have more coverage, as she mentioned, on the Matt Lauer investigation throughout our newscast. You can also find complete coverage on our website, tmj4.com.